Hello and welcome to the lecture. Let's understand what is tag, element and attribute. Let's understand what are these words called as tag, element and attribute. Okay, tags look something like this. You have a less than symbol. Then you have the name of the tag. Then you have greater than symbol. Then you have a closing tag which is called as less than forward slash and same name that you used it here. Okay, and then you have some content inside it. So the starting tag is called a starting tag. You can say starting tag, right? And the ending tag is nothing but the ending tag. The one that is end with a slash forward slash is called as ending tag. You can also call a starting tag as an opening tag. And obviously ending tag can be called as closing tag. So that's basically the definition of tag. So when someone say tag, you should think of opening tag or a closing tag or starting tag or an ending tag. Let's look at what is element. The whole thing from starting tag till the ending tag, including the content is called as element. Okay. So when somebody says element, they are referring to starting tag, ending tag and the text as well. Okay. An example of an element could be a paragraph tag where it is denoted with P less than P and greater than. Then you have text inside it. Then you have less than forward slash P and greater than. So everything in starting tag and the ending tag and the text is called as element. So how do you read this? You say this is a paragraph element and you can write text inside this tag. Okay. You can switch over between tag and element. So you can even say starting tag and the ending tag and then you can even say it's an element. Okay. So that's basically the difference between tag and an element. Okay. Element is the complete thing. Tag is just the opening tag and the closing tag. Okay. Let's look at what is empty tag. When you don't have a data from a starting and a closing, then you call it as an empty tag. Empty tag is also called as self closing tag. You also have tags where you don't have to mention content. If you see this example, less than tag forward slash and greater than you don't have a starting tag. You only have the ending tag. And here you have starting tag and an ending tag, but you don't have a data inside it. These two examples are called as empty element, which means you don't have a data in it. If you want to add a new line that is denoted with BR element and it is denoted like less than BR forward slash and greater than you don't mention any data in it and it is called as an empty element. Okay, so that's how you basically read an empty element. Let's understand what is an attribute. Every element or every tag that you have can have additional properties. Ta attributes can also be called as properties. Properties means additional information about that element. If you have a tag and you want to mention some additional properties of that tag, you can give a name is equal to open quotes, value and the closing quotes. Okay. You can mention the name and the value defined in the specification. You cannot write whatever you want. You have to follow the specification of HTML and use them. Okay. An example, if you're writing a link or a hyperlink, you have to mention where when someone clicks this text, where that data has to go. What is the URL location and what is the text that should be displayed on the browser? So visitors is displayed and this will be link when someone click the visitors they have to go to this location. So in this whole element, href is nothing but an attribute. Okay. Take one more example. I'm just using an example as a dog, but dog is not a tag in HTML, but I'm just giving an example to understand the concept of attribute. And if a dog element has something called as color attribute and color value is brown and the value of that dog is German Shepherd, how you are reading and understanding this dog element has a color attribute and color is the attribute of the dog element. That's how you basically read it. Okay. You're, I'm trying to tell you how do you read this attributes. Okay. So dog element has a color attribute and then a href is basically an attribute of anchor tag. A tag is also called as anchor tag. Okay. And you can also say color is the attribute of dog element. So, okay. This is how you read an attribute. So let's do a quick summary of what we have learned. So this is the perfect example. Again, name is not an HTML tag. I'm just giving you a definition of tag element and attribute. So name here is basically called as opening tag. The name here is called as closing tag An attribute is called as class and that class has some value. 
and the name is basically saying some person name and from starting tag to ending tag or opening tag to closing tag is called as element here you are trying to define a real time example you are trying to define a name a person name as john smith and also you are adding some properties to it and you are saying john smith is in second class okay so if you have to define this you write something like this so you open and close with the opening and the closing tag you define some attributes to tell more about that person element is nothing but the opening and the closing tag okay so this is the definition of tag element and attribute okay so when we read and write about html we will be using this language i'll be saying tag i'll be saying element i'll be using paragraph element header element you know h1 tag or you know i'll be saying the attribute of this h1 tag could be this so don't get confused try to understand this language this is a new language you're learning and try to use these words when you try to define html okay so that's all in this lecture of tag element and attribute and i'll see you in the next one